Alrighty, welcome everybody to the webinar. I want to show you guys something really easy to do today. This is how to set up your eBay account. If you're a first time eBay user, it's way easy to do. It'll take you just a couple of minutes to set up. I'm going to set up a brand new one right here on the, on the presentation with you and then you can follow these steps. Replicate them and have your own eBay account. Whether you're, whether you're going to be a buyer or a seller, most of you guys are probably here because you're wanting to sell on eBay, but either way, buyer or seller, you register it just the very same way, okay? So you should be able to see my screen here. I'm just on ebay.com. On the home screen, you're gonna notice up here on the top left, there's a sign in or register link. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and select register. And it's gonna take me to a page like this. Now in a previous webinar, I talked about the difference here between creating what's called just a normal personal account and then creating this account right up here. You can see this link where it says create your personal account or start a business account. Either one is fine. Usually if you hit start a business account, you just need to make sure you've got a, a registered business name to put on the account. And, and then the process is basically the same thing. But for the sake of I guess most of you guys are probably just going to set up a personal account first, and that's what I'd recommend you do. Uh, you can always turn your account later into a business account. It takes you 15 seconds to do, and the only thing you do is you add your legal registered business name to it, and then it's done. Um, so for the sake of this example, I'm going to just do a brand new personal account. Personal accounts allow you to sell. Um, just like a business account does, or just be a buyer. So either way, a personal account is going to make sense. Um, you put in your email, create a password for yourself. Um, you'll put in this, this little number right here. They're just trying to make sure you're not a robot. So put in the number, then you've got the user agreement and privacy policy. It's always worth maybe just browsing through that, but I guess if you're like most people, you probably won't, and, that, and that's probably okay. Uh, hit the submit button, and sure enough, just like that, in less than a minute, we've created our eBay account. Now you're gonna notice here that it says you'll be able to sign in to eBay with your email and your password. So, and I'll show you guys that here in just a second. Your, your email acts as, is a way to sign in, but you can also sign in with your eBay user ID. And I know this is kind of small, so I'm gonna zoom in here and show you this a little bit better. You'll see a couple of bullet points here. It says to save you the time of creating a unique user ID, we've selected this right here, ship-trevo, right? Now they, they took that from my first and last name, and, and created one for me. I may not love that user ID and I may want to change it. It's real easy to do and I can show you that here in just a second. But a lot of people worry like, hey, should I have my, my user ID be, you know, whatever it is I'm selling or something having to do with my business? And, and yeah, maybe, but you know, in my experience over the years selling on eBay, your user ID means almost absolutely nothing and there's no connection with the user ID or what's registered as a user ID and how well you're even gonna sell. I mean, you could name it whatever you want. So whatever they give you here, if you wanna keep it, great. If you wanna change it, I'll show you that here in a second. So um, now let me, let me log out and then I'll show you. So you can see up here, you've got, hi Trevor, it's got uh, my user ID. It's got a little zero next to my feedback score because I'm brand new. I can hit sign out if I want to right here and sign in with one of my other user IDs. Um, but for most of you guys, you're only gonna have one eBay account and, and so you can sign in with your email or your user ID. Um, so right here, the second bullet point, it says want to choose your own ID. Just go to my eBay on your computer, click the account tab and then go to personal information. Let me show you guys how to do that real quick. If you come right up here, if you can see my mouse, here's your My eBay section. This is kind of where all the magic happens. Um, this is where you're going to do a lot of uh, a lot of your your selling and managing buyers. And we'll show we'll show more about this section later. But for the for the time being, if you come right over here to where it says Account, I'm going to click on that. And then if you click Personal Information right here on the left. 
Okay, it takes you into a screen that looks like this. Now, you're going to see account type right here. I've got an individual account type. I suppose if I wanted to make this affiliated with my registered business, then I would hit edit right here and I could change this to a business account. In fact, it would be as easy as clicking edit. Well, since this is a new account, they're going to have me put in my address and phone number and stuff. I'm not going to do this right this second. I'll leave this this part up to you guys, but after you got through this screen, you would be able to um to put in your business account name or your 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 legal business name. All right, so here's my user ID right here. I can hit edit over here on the right and I can I can change this, okay? Let me put in my password again. It's going to force me to sign in. And then here it goes right here. I can put in my new eBay user ID. Now you can't put in one that's already owned by somebody else. So if I did put in one, you know, that, that somebody else owns, I put it in. eBay is going to check it here for me. Um, they've been kind of slow with this. So I don't know if this is actually going to provide any results. But if I hit save and somebody owns this, it's going to tell me I can't register it. You have to register something that's unique. And you don't want to use your email address as your user ID. Um, so, you know, I could come up with something like Trevor54321, you know, that's associated with my main name. Maybe if I, I want to use something associated with my legal business name, I could call it Ship Enterprises. Ship is my last name. So Ship Enterprises or Ship Dash Enterprises or Ship Enterprises 2015, just something that's available and hit save. Uh, that's up to you guys. It, uh, again, I, I, I don't know if I'd waste my time, honestly, because like I said, the user ID has little influence on whether or not you're making sales. So that's my take on that. Now, when you when you want to sort of start selling, you know, I, or buying, I suppose, you need you need to connect a PayPal account to your eBay account. And I'll show you how to do that in another video. But it's real easy to do. Um, if you come up here and click the sell button like I just did, eBay just needs a little more information, which I would provide. And then I could either register a PayPal account or give them a PayPal account. And then I would be ready to start selling. So there you go. I mean, it's just as easy as that. Um, if you have any questions, let us know. Otherwise, good luck with that eBay account and we'll see you guys next time.